Okay, we're back. Hello friends, it's Ash. Welcome back to another video on my channel and welcome back to my bedroom in my house. Haven't seen this setup in a while. I added lights, if you couldn't tell. They look really good and they make me really happy. I know I said I was gonna take a break from YouTube. I said it in my last two videos and it's gonna happen guys after this video probably because online classes are starting next week and considering that that's uncharted territory for everybody, I think I'm gonna take a break just so I can focus on that and not worry about uploading videos every single week. But like, I'll probably make a video periodically throughout that time because I still love making videos and I love doing YouTube and I don't want this whole situation to take that away. So yeah, stick around still. <laughs> For this video, I'm going to do a little quarantine Q&A kind of thing. I asked people on my Instagram story to send me questions that I can answer. So quite a few people did and that was really nice. So thank you guys. And yeah, I just hope everyone is doing like well, staying safe, social distancing. If you're new here and you've never seen my face before, be sure to hit subscribe. The button is somewhere down below, you can find it. Um, give this video a like and hit me up on Instagram and all the links to my socials and my music will be in the description. And since I have a lot of time inside, I'm writing new songs and I have a lot of stuff coming, which I'm really excited for. So be sure to stick around for that. But yeah, without further ado, let's start answering questions. So the first question I got is, what do you miss the most and least about Drexel after leaving for the year? I was so sad when I found out that Drexel was shutting down campus. So um, I'm gonna miss a lot of stuff, mostly my friends. I met so many amazing people and I can't wait to see them again. I live pretty far from all of them. I feel like a lot of my friends are in like, New Jersey, Philadelphia, suburbs area, and I'm all the way up in Long Island, and it's like, it's painful, guys. But I definitely can't wait to see them again, so I would say I miss my friends the most and the least. Um, probably the dining hall. I won't lie. <laughs> I'm still gonna be on a meal plan next year because I'm living in my sorority house and one of the dining halls is like right across the street. So I was like, I might as well. And I also don't know how to cook, but I'm excited to learn how to cook. I have a full kitchen next year and I should probably use it. So I won't miss the dining halls as much, but like, I still kind of miss it. Not gonna lie. One time I was craving urban, which was really weird, but yeah, so that's that. Um, another question I got is, how do you pass your time in quarantine? Surprisingly, quarantine this spring break has gone by pretty fast, considering that I don't have classes, I don't have a schedule to adhere to. I've been painting, which is pretty cool. I've been making some, like, TikToks of me painting. If you want to follow me on TikTok, that's something you can totally do. I'm kind of disappointed in myself that I jumped on that train, but desperate times call for desperate measures and this is definitely a desperate time so yeah follow my tiktok if you want um but yeah other than like tiktoks and painting i've been writing songs um i write articles as like a job so i've been doing that too and i've just been trying to stay creative i i need to be busy in some way otherwise i will go insane so i've been trying my best um, the next question I got is, what made you want to join a sorority? This is interesting. Uh, honestly, like, nothing. I kind of just went out on a limb and did it. So, at the beginning of the year, during Welcome Week, like, Drexel has Night on the Row, and that's, like, for the freshmen to, like, scope out the Greek houses, see if they want to join. And I had a really good experience there, so I was kind of just like, you know what? Why not? Like, I'm sort of interested in it. But it wasn't something that, like, I had been wanting for a while. It wasn't like something that led up to it. I kind of just was like, okay, signed up for recruitment. It was totally worth it, guys. Uh, my roommate Emma said, what do you miss about 215? Obviously, my roommates, I miss Emma, Gabby, and Merit, even though she didn't like actually live with us, she basically did. I miss them so much. Like, oh, it's sad. 
we've been texting and we have technology to keep us connected which is really nice so yeah but i miss you guys a lot and i hope that after this is over we can like meet up sometime before school starts again someone said just committed to drexel for music industry any tips for incoming freshmen congrats that's so awesome um tips for incoming freshmen get involved put yourself out there and just be social make connections like this is your time to shine sis definitely like join some clubs that you're interested in work hard play hard is what i like to say because you need a balance of like schoolwork and the important things and also having fun and also specifically because you're a music industry major definitely pursue like outside projects like be creative make your own music you want to keep falling in love with music and i feel like if it's just limited to schoolwork now it's gonna be like i don't like this anymore like i don't know if that makes sense but like just continue being creative and putting yourself out there and meeting new people the next question I got is worst thing about quarantine. Definitely the fact that I haven't stepped outside of my house in like 14 days. It's literally so nice out, but I don't drive and I also don't have anywhere to go because I can't like hang out with people. So I would say that's it. The next question I got is something you're looking forward to next year. I'm really looking forward to living in my sorority house next year because I get to live with all of my sisters and We'll finally get to get closer because like obviously we live together and from what i've seen living in the house is super fun so i'm really hyped for that and i already know like who my roommate is and everything and she's like one of my closest friends love her so much but <laughs> um yeah i would definitely say that and just like seeing everybody again i miss campus so much i also really excited to get a little i really hope i get a little next year let's Okay, sorority girl things. Okay, anyways. The next question is, who do you miss the most? I can't pick, bro. Like, there's so many people at Drexel that have, like, already made such a big impact on my life. And I miss them so much. And it was so sad that I had to say goodbye to them prematurely. But we'll see each other in six months. So it's gonna be good. <laughs> the next question I got is, how do you feel about Instagram challenges? I'm not opposed to them. I'm gonna be completely honest. Like, I've done some of them. I do the bingo ones, I do the story template ones, and I enjoy them. They're fun, they keep me entertained. I will say though, I hated the until tomorrow thing because my feed was just clogged with all of these embarrassing photos of people and I was just like, why? But yeah, I feel like overall, they're okay. If you despise them, like I get it, but let people live, you know, we're all, we're all in quarantine. Um, the next question I got is, would you ever dye or cut your hair on your own? That's a hard no. <laughs> I mean, like, to anyone that has and is doing it probably because they're bored right now, like, props to you. That's very brave and bold, but I would never. Because the last time I cut my hair on my own, I was 12 and I just tried cutting my side bangs, but I did them so uneven to the point where one was like, here and the other one was like at my eye and i cried and it wasn't fun that's a hard no especially the dying one too i would never mess with my hair color like without a professional's help because that's some permanent damage but yeah for anyone out there that is doing that like i applaud you that's insane one of my friends actually she used to have really long hair and then she just impulsively cut it to like a little below her shoulder and she sent me a snapchat and i was like yeah, I mean, it looked pretty good considering that she did it on her own, but personally, I would never. The next question is, how do you stay mentally and physically healthy? So, physically healthy? You are asking the wrong person. I had a donut for breakfast today, and I don't regret it. But mentally, I would definitely say just like, look forward to the future. I know that things are kind of shit now, but like, it'll get better this is temporary and also just like keep your brain active you know like pick up a hobby or do hobbies that you already like to do physically healthy i'll get back to you on but probably like i don't know do jumping jacks in your house or something i just want to say this quarantine happened right when i was starting to get back into going to the gym and 
how inconvenient was that? Okay, the next question I'm going to answer is how are online classes? Like I said, they haven't started yet. I've been on spring break for these past three weeks, but they're starting next week. And so far I've gotten all of my syllabi and I don't really know how to feel. I feel like just because it all came at once, I got really overwhelmed. But a lot of my classes are asynchronous, which means like you don't meet at a specific time they kind of just give you the work and tell you to complete it by a certain date and some of them are like over zoom actually most of them are over zoom i feel like it's gonna be an adjustment but i'll be okay i don't know i'll get back to you on how online classes go but i i hope it won't be too bad okay and the last question that i'm gonna answer is what classes are you taking this term so let me think I have to take accounting, which is, I heard, not going to be a walk in the park, but I got a really good professor for that, so I'm pretty excited. Sound recording for the business concentration, because if you don't know, Drexel's music industry program has two concentrations, and somewhere down the line, our paths diverge where they take different classes than we do, and I think this is where it's happening, so a lot of my friends are just taking sound recording, but I'm taking sound recording for, like, business, which... I don't know how that's gonna work, but I had to download Pro Tools for that on my laptop, which was kind of annoying. That one sounds fun though. Oh, I have to take ear training, which is like training your ear to listen to certain things. I, yeah. And then I'm taking rock music since the mid 60s. That's like my elective. I was taking Korean, but I dropped that because I felt like that would be too much to do online. Oh, and I'm taking live music industry. I have no idea what that is, I will be totally honest with you, but it sounds cool. So I'm excited for that. And like, it's kind of a shame that these classes were online because my schedule was so good this quarter. It's okay. Anyways, those are all of the questions that I will be answering. Thank you to everyone that sent stuff in. I hope everyone is staying safe and doing well in quarantine, social distancing. And yeah, this will be over before we know it, so hopefully we can work to flatten the curve and we'll be out in no time. If you made it to this point in the video, you are a very good human and I'll see you in my next one, whenever that will be. Bye guys!